Welcome to the Arduino tutorial on electronic component and connection. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the breadboard and its internal connection, LED on the breadboard, push button and 7 segment display on the breadboard. To follow this series, you should have basic knowledge of electronic component such as register, push button, LED, open circuit, closed circuit, serial and parallel connection, batteries, positive and negative voltage. This tutorial is recorded using the following component, breadboard, LED or tricolor LED, push button, register and 7 segment display. This is what the breadboard looks like. The breadboard is a device for holding a component of circuit and connecting them together. We can build electronic circuit on a breadboard without doing any soldering. The top two rails and bottom two rails are called power rail. The top row of all are connected together and are marked here with the red dot and blue dot. Note that the connection breaks in the middle of the breadboard. In the middle, the column of the wire are connected together. For example, all the green holes marked are connected together but they are not connected to the yellow hole. Next we will learn about LED. LED stand for light emitting diode. It emits a color light when there is a current flowing through it. An LED has a two leads namely anode and cathode. The longer lead is anode, it should be connected to the positive voltage. The shorter lead is a cathode, it should be connected to the ground. Tricolor LED is an advanced version of LED which emits three different colors. It has four pin. The longest lead is called as a common lead. The remaining three pin are red, blue and blue color LED. There are two types of tricolor LED, common anode and common cathode. In common anode version, the common lead should be connected to the positive voltage. In common cathode version, the common lead should be connected to the ground. Next we will learn about register. A register used to limit the current flowing through the circuit. Now let us build simple circuit using LED, a register and a breadboard. The image shows the proper connection. Positive of 9 voltage battery is connected to the second rail. Negative of 9 volt battery is connected to the first rail. Anode that means right lead of the LED is connected to second rail of the breadboard through a register. Cathode that means left lead of the LED is connected to the first rail of the breadboard. This is the live setup of LED connection. You can see that LED is glowing because the connection we used are very proper. Now we will see the common mistake people make when they are using the breadboard to make the connection. In this connection, the LED doesn't glow because the connection are not proper. The register and LED are placed beside each other. The hole in the breadboard except the power rail are connected column wise. So there is no connection between anode and the LED of the register lead. This makes the LED isolated. In the next connection, the cathode of the LED is connected to the second rail. The anode of the LED is connected to the first rail through the register. This connection in this circuit are the reverse what it should be. That's why the LED doesn't glow. Next we will learn about the push button. The push button is a simple switch mechanism that connects two points in a circuit when it gets pressed. Push button usually comes with four legs. Irrespective of the position of a switch, leg A and C are always connected. Similarly, leg B and D are always connected. When the switch is pressed, all the four legs are connected to each other. Now let us add a push button to the previous circuit and use it to change the state of the LED. This image shows the proper connections. The LED anode is connected to the second power rail. That means positive voltage through a register and a push button. Let us see the live setup. When the push button is pressed, the LED is glowing as expected. As there are four legs in the push button, the circuit can build another way as well. Instead of using leg B of the push button, 
we are going to use the leg D. Since they are internally connected to each other, the LED glows when the push button is pressed. Next, we will see the common mistake people make while using the push button. Look at this image. The anode of the LED is connected to second power rail through the leg A and C of the push button. Recall that the leg A and C of the push button are internally connected. Hence, the anode of the LED always connected to power rail of the second number irrespective of the push button. The LED always glow in this circuit even when the push button is off. Let's now move on to the 7 segment display. The 7 segment display has a 7 LED arranged in the shape of a number 8. There are two types of 7 segment display, common anode and common cathode 7 segment display. In the 7 segment display, pin A, B, C, D, E, F, G and two common pin are available. In a common cathode 7 segment display, pin A, B, C, D, E, F, G and dot must be connected to 5 volt. The two common pin must be connected to ground. The common anode display is exactly opposite. Here pin A, B, C, D, E, F and dot must be connected to ground and two common pin must be connected to 5 volt. Now let us see how to connect 7 segment display on the breadboard and glow all the LEDs. The 7 segment display used here in the image is a common anode. So the common anode is connected to the second power rail through the register. LED pin A, B, C, D, E, F, G dot are connected to the first power rail. If the connection is proper, we will see all the LEDs are glowing. Let us see the live setup connection, we can see all the segment in the 7 segment display are glowing. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we will learn about breadboard and its internal connection, LED on the breadboard, push button and 7 segment display on the breadboard. Do you have any question in this tutorial? Please write to us. Contact us through the given contact details. Thank you.